Hello, welcome. My name is Jacob Alt, and it appears you have bought a 3D printer from me. I first want to apologize because 3D printers are hell, but you can have a lot of fun with them. You can print really cool things like tool accessories or wall hanging hooks or cockasauruses. Clack pots. Yes, I said that. You can print a dinosaur that is a hybrid with a, a male phallic as a head, but Let's go over our new printer. Okay, and obviously I'm joking. So we've got this 3D printer set up for a friend of Jen's, uh, but we have a bunch of the 3D printers that we're selling. We're not trying to ship them, but if you need a 3D printer, you can get a hold of me. So this is uh, an i3 Mark III. It's sort of like a 3, 3 plus, 3S combination because it has some upgrades. But uh, the way I'm going to ship it to you is gonna be a little different than the way uh, Prusa does it. I'm actually gonna ship this thing all the way to the top, and this is gonna be bungee corded uh, or zip tied into place. Now this is the spool holder, this is not installed, so when you get it, you are gonna get a printer that looks like this. It's very simple, you take this out of the box, you put it on there, okay, you're good to go. You're gonna cut the zip ties that I'm gonna have here, and this is gonna be centered in here, and this is gonna be secured as well. Now, since we're onto this, we've got our power cord, Somewhere is a USB cable. I am gonna give you a, a fresh alcohol wipe and fresh grease. Two build sheets. Now you're gonna take these out of this. I think you should know that because printing on bubble wrap while entertaining is not helpful. So this is uh, the bed itself and this is the build sheet. Okay, you take this out and there's pins that align here. You're gonna put that on there. You'll want to wash the sheets before you use yes. them. With Dawn soap, nothing special. The original regular one. Dawn and regular paper towels. Do not use microfiber towels. Do not use blue paper towels. Use regular paper towels. Something about the oils that are left on build sheets will cause an issue. Now this printer is set up for PLA right now and this print sheet that is on the bottom is calibrated, okay? This top one, I'll write on it, not calibrated. You might not get two build sheets depending on who you are. So if you look <laughs> here, this, we're gonna go up under here. Oh, is, you're, paying it, you're waiting for yep, me. It's an upgraded printer. So this has an E3D Revo quick change nozzle. Now this is a 0.4 nozzle. It's the most uh, used nozzle size, but this without any tools, in theory, you can just unscrew this and put a new nozzle in. So if this thing gets beyond recognition boogered up, you could, if you didn't wanna clean it, you could just buy a new nozzle from E3D. Pop this thing out, slide it in. You don't even have to heat it up. Now I have pre-greased all the rods, cleaned the threads the best I can with brake cleaner. Uh, I wanna go over the memory card uh, with you, but basically you're gonna to wanna to set this up with clear space so that none of your cables are catching on anything. You're gonna to wanna to load your filament. And then if you've never printed before on the memory card, I've went ahead and thrown the install software for Mac and PC. I'm gonna show you that in a second. There's a guide uh, and then there's some links to Prusa's website. So let's head over here, okay? So if you take a look at our memory card, eh, that's probably easier this way. We have links, Prusa samples and software. And then the first thing, Prusa uh, 3D manual. So this goes over a bunch of different stuff, first layer, all kinds of cool things, printing guides, okay? Then you're gonna to wanna to print. So you do not need to have software to print any of these samples. If you go to the sample folder on the printer, you can see we have a Benchy, we have Batman, we have a Buddy, which is I think the dog of Prusa Guy, a bunch of different things. And these are all pre-sliced for PLA. So if you load PLA into this printer, you're gonna be good to go. Now, if you wanna start learning how to use it other than the manual, I have put some links and I watched a couple a long time ago. So I put these in the watch these first. So this is the original from, I think this one's from Prusa, uh, but this is basically how to use the slicer and how to use the printer for this specific printer, okay? And then this is just a couple other great links like Prusa's knowledge base. Uh, if you needed to get parts from Prusa, uh, you can see here, this is a place where you can download them and print them on your printer. Now you'll probably need different filament to do that, but at least these are your links to Prusa and almost everything you would need to get started on printing. Now, yes, there are bamboo printers out there that are advanced miles, but these printers have thousands of hours on them. And as far as repairs go, 
Usually it's just nozzle related They've stuff. They've been so user friendly and less temperamental. And like, they're they're going to be slower. Yes, but with this E3D nozzle, okay? This stuff looks great though. It's going to make great prints. It's just not going to be as fast, but the software is fairly easy to use. Uh, it's interface, it's space that it takes up. It's a great printer well, still. And, and it's I, easier to get to the parts that you need to clean because it's not all encased it's not and how... Yes. Yeah. So if you're not printing tall things that are tending to warp, this printer is still a great printer. If you are worried about time, right. A bamboo is definitely going to be faster. But there's something to be said about uh, this original design. The software on the internet for it is contributed to by multiple people, which means upgrades for it are usually faster. So it's definitely going to be a solid printer still. In fact, they have upgraded designs. The only reason we don't have the upgraded designs is because for price point and we need to be able to print ABS in a chamber because of some of our commercial customers that we print for. But it's still definitely a great printer and I hope that you don't have any problems. If you do, you can definitely shoot comments below. And if this is for a special somebody that Jen knows, Obviously, you know who to reach out to, but... Homie hookup. Yep, homie hookup. The rest of you guys on YouTube, enjoy. And if you want to buy a printer, maybe we'll just put the, like, repaired ones that work great on the website. I don't know. You could certainly reach out to me. Uh, I would prefer local so that we don't have to worry about shipping. But, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. And if you have any questions, comment below.